Hey guys, welcome to our review of Tokusatsu Ga 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 Cubed Episode 6. As always, I'm your host, Frozen Stratos. Here with me today we have Chris from Long Stories. Dude, welcome back. We just got done watching this episode. Oh, yes, it was so good. good. <laughs> so good. Oh, oh so man. Fun. It's an amazing finish. Mm -hmm. Well, we're not done yet. But... I meant to the episode. To the episode. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um,. And even even the preview served as like this nice addend or like, you know, this really good lead into the next one. Like it was because it it looked like it was specifically made to have like you know beats hit in the thing anyway. Um, yeah, and even even before the confrontation with the mom, I love that like you know she actually you know had an ally at home, and um, yeah, yeah. It, just uh her brother was the dude in the chair on the computer doing everything and like the dude beautifully orchestrated that entire situation <laughs> so i thought that was very well done um oh what else was there there was that like anomaly of a scene where the dude where she like falls in love with the dude kinda and then she makes him like run up and roar <laughs> Yeah, that was really weird. So she says, like, the guy who fixes the copier at her office looks like the actor who plays the red uh, Jashuan, if I'm saying that right. Jushuan, I think. Jushuan, yeah. Uh, which is, I get that. But then she's like, just run, <laughs> run up and then roar and make the pose. And then she's like, okay, bye. And then she just leaves and he's like, what? <laughs> and it, was just, it was funny, but it was also just random because, like, he never came back for the rest of the episode. I don't know if he'll come yeah. back in the next one or not, but it was, I guess, just to show that she does have like romantic interests, even though, like, her basically her mom's whole focus is forget the toys and stuff because you need to focus on getting married. Because mm -hmm. there's like a thing. I think I talked about this before. Yeah. About like you know, twenty five is a danger zone, but by thirty, if you're not married, no one will ever want you, and it's like. It doesn't even make sense. <laughs> I mean, I can see where, like, back in the day when people were only living to, like, 50, that made sense. <laughs> but, like, yeah. today it doesn't make any sense anymore. But it's, like, an old wives' tale type of thing. Mm -hmm. So, like, her mother is obviously very old school traditional, so she's all freaked out about it. But it's, like, getting married is not the end-all be-all of your life. Like, yeah. you know. Yeah. Like, I'm married and I'm very happy, but it, if you're not married and you don't care about that, then who cares? Like, it doesn't matter. Like, that's your whole self worth is not tied to that. Um, I don't know. But anyway, so I guess the mother's very worried about that. So they wanted to show that she is still, like, has those interests. She's not completely uh -huh. with the mind of a child, <laughs> which I don't think anyone <laughs> expected or thought that, but yeah, whatever. I don't know. It was a weird scene. Yeah, um, I'm I'm still honestly trying to place it because I I don't necessarily think that she was like romantically romantically interested because like there it was like there glowing was... in a pink aura and her th heart kept going thwomp. Yeah, but then like at, at the end, oh, well, I get, I guess she did sort of say, oh yeah, an otaku like me has zero chance anyway. So like I just thought he looked like the actor. Yeah, I think it was like a. Like a harmless crush that she probably didn't expect to go anywhere, but yeah. still a crush. That's true. Yeah, I don't know. It was uh, out outside of that, like it, it felt like the only misnomer because like everything else like really flowed well together. I hope it'd be it'd be kind of funny if they resolved that toward the end, but I don't know. I don't know if we need it. Yeah, I don't know. It was just a weird thing. But this episode had plenty of my boy Damien. My number yes. one favorite. Yes. I love that kid. Yeah. Uh, and he has a huge crush on the older lady whose name I apologize. I can't remember right now. I don't either. That's fine. Um, but he's right. She is the hottest chick on the show. So <laughs> pops to him. Um, but yeah, he's yeah. hilarious. And we found out that she has a boyfriend, which is, uh -huh. uh, you know, he was like, ah, oh. it was like, it reminded me of that Ralph Wiggum from The Simpsons where they're like, you could pinpoint. <laughs> he's like, ah. <laughs> But um, but does he like Jushawan too? Huh? Huh? <laughs> yeah, he's just like, look, I see my chances are fading up fast. I have to completely just throw this landmine or this grenade into the middle of this relationship. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta get this guy out of, out of my way. He's in my way. You know? 
He's a warrior for love. He's got to just bust right in. Damien's a monster, dude. Like, <laughs> gotta get it, man. He's, Conan you know, straight for the kill. I swear. Got to. He's in love. Most fair <laughs> love of war, they say. In <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um. Oh, and the the other thing about like the parallels with the uh the other mom, I thought that was like kind of neat and helping like her, helping her, like build up the courage for this like final scene. So like, mm-hmm. it, it was it was a neat juxtaposition. I thought that was it. Oh, no. yeah, with the other mom, you could tell like she saw that her son was having a hard time at school and like he had yeah. this escape in the anime. So she's like. Let him have it. You know what I mean? Like, he's not hurting anybody. He needs this right now. And then she's yeah. like, you know, I kind of expected him to grow out of it, but whatever. Like, you could tell she was just like, meh. Mm-hmm. Um, whereas, like, this other lady's mom is still just crazy. I don't know. Yeah. I, I love how, like, her knee jerk reaction was like, oh no, he needs a safe. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh wait, she's not crazy. Okay, that's fine. Good. <laughs> But like it, it, it gave the audience something like, oh, it, it reminds you that oh, you know these people can't exist, and like she kind of wants that, and you you saw her like toward the end of the episode going like, hey, like we're making strides, let me try to fix this, let me go against, you know, let me stop avoiding this and confront it head on, and then it just blew up, and it was fantastic. First of all, they give us that flashback where she's like cooking dinner over her oh burned God. magazines. I'm like, that is twisted, man. Like that's psychotic. Just it keeps going into her personal space and like stealing her property. And I'm like, mom, you have some crazy boundary issues. And also, stop stealing my shit. So yeah, her mom's a klepto psycho weirdo. Yeah. I don't care for it. In terrible fashion sense, by the way, that hat was tragic. I don't know what the hell was going on with that. <laughs> it looks like, like a dessert. Like if Elton John was going to go golfing, I felt like that would be the hat that he would wear. I can see it. I can see it. <laughs> I mean, he'd pull it off. I'm just saying. It's Obviously. a weird hat, you know. That's weird. My parents recently saw Elton John. but uh, <laughs> They just, like, in real life, they ran into him? No, no, no. They went to a concert. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I, it was just really weird that you brought that up in the context of familial things. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's so a good episode. Did you have anything else you wanted to say? I mean, just that ending was fire, but I think yeah. it's, you know, the the music swelled and she just, uh-huh. boom. Like, I was like, no, just be done. Like, this whole time I'm, like, shouting at the screen, like, just be done with her. Just walk away. Yeah. And then she just exceeded my expectations and she just, <laughs> shut up, you old bitch. Watch out. I was like, <laughs> yes. And then and then it went, like, straight into the, you know, juxtapositioning it with, with show on, And then, like, the, the, the bad dude goes in for that blow it like n- knocks out red and spins him, but like it spins him into another attack. And it, oh, man. that's something oh, they always do know. really well where they have like yeah. a real life scene juxtaposed with the Sentai scene and they like parallel each other perfectly. Yeah. That's something yeah. the show's always done really well. So, absolutely brilliant. I'm so psyched. Let's get into the next episode because I need to watch it. All right. So, guys, thanks for watching this review. If you want to check out our watch along, which I've pretty sure you've already done uh so. if, yeah but if you haven't the links are in the description and at the end of this video so guys thanks for watching keep it juicy all right uh we're gonna have to wait a little longer because i gotta pee yeah no problem actually i'm gonna go grab a water so yeah we'll be back in like a couple minutes two minutes three minutes whatever okay yeah sounds good